All right, guys. Well, I have been waiting for this for a little bit of time. This is something new. It's exciting for me. This is a inverter MPP hybrid charge controller all in one unit, 3,000 watts. I'm going to do an unboxing. We're going to open it up, take a look at it in this video. And then in a future video, I will be hooking it up to my solar panels also to the grid and to some brand new six volt uh, 225 amp hour golf cart batteries that I got from a place in Brandon. So here we go. Let's take a look. The box, it's, it's a good box. I got this from Amazon. So let's take a look. And I, they, unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of selection. I even talked to a guy on eBay from China, and uh, his name is uh, Yuki. And he, they could not get the one I wanted to me. I, I would have ordered it from them from eBay, but unfortunately, because of um, everything that's going on in the world, they didn't have any available in North America and they have a a uh, warehouse in California and they didn't have any there so take a look here this is what I got I wanted to get one that was parallel or you could do parallel it's gonna move my light here um, but they didn't have any because of um, just shipping and uh, and just everything that's going on with uh, with shortages, as we all know. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pause this and take this out of the box. All right, I just moved my camera around so I can have some room. Move my mouse over there. Okay, so. Hopefully you can hear me. Let's take this out of the box. Okay. All right. Good foam packing. All right. Okay, so the bag comes off this way. So you can see. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It's got a protective cover on here. All right, I'm just checking to see if that was actually a protective covering on there, and it is. It looked pretty beat up. All right. Okay, so here it is. So this is a 3,000 watt. Um, I think they call this a Mr. Power, I think. So, it's an all-in-one solar charge inverter. And here's all the specs. It's a uh, 3000 VA, 3000 watts. Uh, voltage is 120. Uh, rated current, 25 amps. Okay, and then it says battery input, 20 to 30 VDC, 24 volt. I am hooking the uh, batteries into a 24 volt series. And, AC input, 120 VAC, 50 here in North America. I think we use 60 hertz, I'm pretty sure. Um, max AC bypass current is 40 amps, and the max AC charge current is 40 amps. 
PV input, 1600 watts, 100 volts, uh, and the MPPT input voltage range, uh, 30 to 85 VDC. The um, panels I have are 230 watt panels, and they are 36.6 VOC or VDC. I'm not too sure what that's. Uh, I think it's VDC or VOC. I can't remember. Uh, but anyways, you guys know. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to hook those up in parallels of two. And uh, so I'll have two in parallel and then another two. I guess I'll have four all together because it says max power watt power 1600 watts and then max open voltage is 100 volts so i'm not too sure if that's three panels i could do i don't know i'll have to I, well you guys could tell me <laughs> um here's the bottom so there's the for the battery there's the positive and negative terminal we'll open this up to take a look at it if you have a generator here's uh the uh, stuff for the generator. Here is an RS-485 um, port, a USB port, the AC in and AC out port. There is a breaker, two fans. And then on this side, we have the PV and uh, positive and negative and then the on off switch. And if anybody else has this one, and they can tell me a little bit more about it, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. We're gonna open up this now. I'm just gonna go get a, a screwdriver because I forgot to get one. All right, so I grabbed a screwdriver and I'm going to take, they are star screwdrivers. So I'm gonna take this panel out, take a look inside. Right. Star screwdriver for it, but... There's the screw there. Okay. So let's take a look here. I believe this just slides on. All right, now I'm not gonna pretend to know, I know what I'm doing because I do not. So let's take a look at, I'm not uh, DIY Solar or Dave Paws, David Paws. Uh, I actually talked to David once in a while. Yeah, he, uh, he knows a lot when it comes to solar panels and, and what, what all this stuff is. Pardon me. So <clears throat> here you can see this is your line in. So it's got a ground. Uh, it's got your positive and negative feed. And then on your, on your ground out or your out not ground, but uh, your your power out, which would come through here. It doesn't have a ground, but uh, um, I could ground it somewhere. Uh, there is a ground here, but that's for, whoops. I'll just pull my camera back. So there is a ground here, but that ground I believe is, is to earth. Um, so I will, oh, maybe I'll just ground it grounded in there because it's good to have a ground anyways so I could just throw two in there I think not 100% sure so taking a look in you have here you have your positive battery and your negative battery some people don't like this because they're close together um, but again um, I didn't have a lot of choice in what I was getting because they didn't have a lot of stock and then this is your PV right here. This is your positive, this is your negative. So the, 
The, the, the thing that I like about this box is, is I can put the cables in here and they're nice and tidy. So that I like that. And there's two decent sized fans here. Um, and aside from that, I'll show you the manual. So we'll just take a look in there. I don't, I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend to know that what all this stuff is. Um, like I said, I'm not versed like DIY Solar or David Paws. So, here's the manual. It comes with a couple batteries. I'll show you the batteries after too, just as a last little bit. But here's some for your battery posts. Uh, these are the screws that go into here, I'm assuming. And yeah, no. that goes to your battery. Okay, it comes with a little certificate that says it passed. Doesn't, doesn't have a date on it, but that's okay. But, and a warranty card. And then here's the manual. So all in one solar charge inverter user manual. And guys, I am fairly new to all this. So any help that you guys can give, that would be great. Here's the manual with all the options it has, all the buttons, like these buttons up here, right here and everything there and then this is the way it can set up and then there's a page as well there's actually quite a lot of pages but there's a page that tells you all about the screen menu which is really handy. It's got a nice booklet that tells you everything. So, and I've got that contact too that I could talk to the guy in China there if I do have any problems. Um, and then, of course, I know I could definitely talk to you guys because you guys are definitely more versed than I am and and I'm just a newbie here so so any knowledge is good knowledge so this this page here as well shows you that the ground is there and your negative and positive are going in but this one over here just has the two so I'm just gonna pee back one into there I don't know if that's advisable you could let me know but yeah so anyways let me know what you guys think of this. I'm gonna put this back together before I lose something. I don't care about this, but I'm just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they always squeeze anything off, and I'm like, yeah, they're not playing with it. I don't know what I'm doing. So I just won't do it. All right, so there it is. So, it's got a nice place also, I should mention, to mount it. Uh, there is nothing to mount it on the back, but I will figure that out. And uh, before I let you guys go, um, I'll show you the batteries and the solar panels that I have for this uh, unit that I'm going to hook up and maybe you guys could give me a little bit of advice on how to go about doing that. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, guys. So this is the solar panel and these are the panels here. I'm just cleaning them up. I have 12 of them all together, but I can't hook up 12. I don't believe. <clears throat> this is the rating on the back. 
So it's gonna go here. So it is, oh, VOC. So 36.6 VOC. I'm not too sure on exactly what that means. And if I'm confusing myself, but that is the markings on the back. So I don't know if that has anything to do with when it comes to the MPPT inverter. And as you can see these, that's the door door there. I'm just utilizing my daughter's room because she lives in Winnipeg now. So this is the spare room now. So there it is and I'll bring you down to show you the batteries. All right, so these are the batteries. They are 225 amp hours. They are a lead acid battery. They are six volts. Uh, they're golf, co golf cart batteries. Uh, the guy said they should last for 10 years. Um, and the reason why I didn't go with lithium is because uh, lithium would have been four times the cost of these. And uh, I just don't have that kind of uh, funding right now. So, um, so this is what I'm going to do. And in 10 years, hopefully lithiums have come down quite a bit. And as you can see, this is the basement here. It's a sort of work in project thing. Uh, so I'm gonna be putting that inverter on this wall and I'm gonna be building a bank here so I can put the batteries on top just in case it floods. Uh, we have had some wicked floods in this area before. Actually, I had three feet of water in my yard in the back and about two feet in the front. And that was, they say it's the new norm. So, so this is uh this is a space for that. And that'll be 3000 Watts. I plan on doubling that <clears throat> and eventually getting a system where it's parallel, but I'll just have that one 3000 Watt by itself. So, so anyways, uh, Thank you guys so much for for your support. If uh, you're just tuning into the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe, give your thumbs up, and leave your comments. And if you have any advice for me as far as how to go about putting this all together, I really would appreciate it. I'll just do another shout out to David Paws in the States there and DIY Solar. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you later.